APGARs are the scores that infants are given at one minute and five minutes of life. If they're really bad, then we continue giving APGARs for longer than that, 10 and 15 minutes and so on. And APGARs are really good because they can give you a snapshot of how the baby appeared at delivery. There are five categories for each APGAR score, and each baby can have either zero, one, or two points in each of those categories. So logically, a baby could have an APGAR score of either zero or 10, five times two. Generally, the lower the APGAR score, then the worse the baby is doing and the more support that the baby needs. APGAR scores are named after a brilliant anesthesiologist called Virginia APGAR. But luckily, the word APGAR also forms a really easy to remember mnemonic for all the different scores. So A is for appearance, P is for pulse, G is for grimace, A is for activity, and R is for respirations. Let's go through these individually. So let's start with A or appearance. Here really we mean color. Is the baby blue or pink? If the baby is blue, then the baby gets zero points, so cyanotic. If the baby is completely pink and like glowing pink, the baby gets two points. If the baby is kind of in between, maybe slightly pink lips, then the baby gets one point. Remember that it takes several minutes for a baby to become pink after delivery. So even a healthy baby will very rarely get two points for the color. P is for pulse, and you could argue this is easily the most important. If the baby has zero pulse, so a heart rate of zero, the baby gets zero points. If the heart rate is below 100, the baby gets one point. And if the heart rate is above 100, then the baby gets two points. Sometimes, if a baby has literally an Abgar of one, that's because they just have a heart rate. G is for grimace, and this confuses people a lot, but really it's just a marker of how reactive the baby is. Is the baby acting appropriately to its surroundings and grimacing if, for example, you're drying and stimulating or whatever the baby? So if the baby's not doing anything and just lying there and not reacting, the baby gets zero points. If the baby has some slight sort of reaction, so kind of recoils its leg or something if you're drying its feet, the baby gets one point. And if the baby is reacting completely appropriately for a term baby, so when you're drying it, it's kind of angrily moving away, then the baby gets two points. And the second A, another A, is activity. Or really, what is the baby moving like? In medicine or in neonatology, we talk a lot about tone, which is like the general innate muscle strength of the baby at the time. Generally, the higher the tone, the more the baby is moving around. So if the baby is just lying there like a rag doll, barely moving, and all its muscles seem really floppy, the baby will get zero points. If there's like a little bit of movement, a little bit of resistance when you're moving the limbs, then the baby gets one point. And if the baby is kind of completely moving around the way that it should be, then the baby gets two points for activity. And R is respiratory, or really, how well is the baby breathing? This is probably the second most important APGAR, logically, after the heart rate. So if the baby's not making any efforts to breathe at all, the baby gets zero points. If the baby's kind of making occasional efforts or just like really shallow breathing every now and again, then the baby will get one point. And if the baby has a good lusty cry or breathing really well, then the baby will get two points. So in all babies, you add up all these points and you give them a total APGAR score. Generally, like we said, the lower the points, the more resuscitation the baby needs. If the baby has an APGAR between zero and three, then you'll probably be going to be doing some pretty intensive resuscitating. And remember, if the heart rate is less than 100, then you need to be breathing for the baby or giving positive pressure ventilation. If the heart rate is less than 60, then you need to be providing adequate breathing for the baby or adequate positive pressure ventilation and you have to start chest compressions if the heart rate is below 60. Like we said, you have to give APGARs on all babies at one and five minutes. Generally, babies kind of get more active within those first few minutes of life, so generally the five-minute APGAR is higher than the one-minute APGAR. Normally, the one-minute APGAR is called the OB APGAR, and the five-minute APGAR is called the neonatal APGAR. Right, now go watch the physical exam and the vital signs video.